Please welcome Miss Jill Perryman. It's lovely to see you. Ah, it's lovely to be here, Bertram. This is one of the few occasions when you've come to the East and haven't brought that husband Kevin of yours Yes, along. it is, and it's a very sad thing, because Perth's such a long, long way away. But, I mean, he's a worker <laughs> and I'm working, so I'm not complaining. Might start <laughs> off perhaps on the wrong foot here, although I don't think you... I don't think you might be mentioning this. It's not very long, I believe, before one Jill Perryman becomes... I know. ...a grandmother. It's going to be a granny. I can't wait. They got the recipe right after trying for all that time. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, is Todd, my is son. Yes, yeah. Todd, and his wife, Vicky, and I'll be a nana in November. Oh, that's Isn't it terrific. lovely. First time, eh? Yes, it is, yes. Good feeling? Oh, yeah, it's actually Oh, thank you. That is sad thing, is, though, Jill, for the rest of us, it makes us feel just a little bit older. I mean, oh. it just doesn't seem right that Jill Perryman can be a grandma. I said to the lass in makeup, I said, I want the spackle and the Tarzan's grip out today. <laughs> and I wasn't kidding. It's getting that way now. A bit of, uh, see, I haven't had a nip and a tuck yet. That's to come in the future, I suppose. I don't but I don't care. One. I think we nanas can all stick together, don't you? I think it's wonderful. Jill and I, I heard share. a male voice then. Yes. Uh, obviously yes. a grandfather. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jill, it's, it's important, I guess, when talking to someone like yourself, just to not just relive what's happened in the past, because you've had so many great successes, but also just to find out from you how you feel theatre in Australia now is, uh, is shaping up, given that you started off in an era when there were so many imports coming in to take Australian jobs. Yeah. I think what I've, I find about theatre now is it, become, it has become a lot more technical than it used to be, with a lot of the shows, and I still love going to the theatre, but a lot of the shows, I find that if the computer board went bung, there'd be no show. It doesn't rely so much on individual performances or performers. Uh, years ago, if your voice wasn't loud enough, you didn't get the part. And uh, now, I mean, and I, for one, I mean, I've succumbed to wearing the microphones if I've done a stage show and things like that. But it does seem strange. Yeah, Jill, I, I saw Anything Goes the other night. Do they wear the microphones now around near the ear? They, well, I, I haven't seen Anything Goes. I've seen Big River. And I've noticed the long black hair hanging down the back of everyone that's blonde and dark and everything, so I presume that that must be where, where it is. I just wonder where the microphone finishes up, though. I mean, it obviously just... Don't... Might be best if you don't yeah, ask. Yes, best if we... I think if we do. Yes. <laughs> if we do. This is a clean <laughs> show, isn't it, Bert? <laughs> Have you not seen Geraldine in... Uh, no, in I'm going this wonderful. afternoon. Oh, oh you'll thrilled. just... You'll love yes. it. She's fantastic. The whole cast is just... I'm delighted. ...absolutely brilliant. One of the reasons I love to come apart from seeing you... Do you realise the last time you interviewed me was to do a show that never got here? What was that? You, you were at the other station and you interviewed June Salter and myself about Night Mother. Oh, that's right. Well, that's yes. funny because the show that I interviewed you on didn't get anywhere either. No. <laughs> so, so there you go. Perhaps it was my fault. <laughs> Oh, no, you're, Somebody's you're, game. Exactly. Jill, so you, you want to have a look at theatre too, of course. Oh, you, so yes, yes. I always love to go. Because, I mean, Perth is wonderful, but I do get very starved. Cats has arrived there after, oh, four years. Mm -hmm. And it's taken Perth by storm. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just the fact I'm waiting to be bowled over by an individual performance. One person that will make me feel as though ah, that's what it's all about, you know. Mm. But it is very technical now. But then again, my age group, uh, we are the ones that have to adjust. We can't expect, I mean, the young people that go to the theatre now, they expect to be bowled over by the technicalities, and this is where my era has to adjust. We have to go along with that. It's different for us Nurse Williams' babies, isn't it? You remembered. Mm, we were born in the same hospital, Jill. Delivered by the same nurse in yes. the same bed. Yes. Oh. yes. Not at the one time, mind you. Not, no, at, not no. at the one time. I was a few minutes before you, Yes, wasn't but I? and also, I mean, a very, very small hospital. It's an amazing coincidence. But it? I remember you very well, and you were a lovely baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that means you would have seen in a full frontal thing then, because I would yes. only had a nappy. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes now yes. I'm embarrassed. Mm. Oh, well, who knows? Let's, let's have a cup of coffee There's after the show. There's still nothing there. It's only dints. <laughs> Jill, would you like to sing for us? Because we'd love I to hear I would love so. to, and it's been lovely talking to you. Likewise. And to love to Kevin. your family, too. Thank you. There's Thank a lot you, of love going around. Well, you, there can't be too much love, can there? No, there can't be too is much. Is Jill going to sing at the piano, is she? Uh, no, no, no. I'm, go, I'm okay. being wafted over there. If you waft over there, I'll introduce you. Good on you. In my best comparing terms. And as she makes her way to centre stage, a couple of shots which we didn't get to, which you might like to see. Here's a shot of Jill 
and, uh, and Kevin, Kevin Johnson, her husband, one of the most brilliant male dancers Australia's ever seen. That's from Carnival and also some lovely shots from Jill's big hit of uh, a funny girl and anyone who had the opportunity of seeing Jill in that or any of the other productions in which she starred would realise that you've got a special talent on your hands when a compere has the honour to say here's Miss Jill Perryman and here she is to sing Someone to Watch Over Me.